Hello, my lovely more thoughts. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the new update that came to The Sims, which means a lot of new free stuff. Now, before we get started, you can find me on all these other social media platforms. My name is Morbid Gamer on everything. So go ahead and peruse, peruse. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit that like button. It is free 99. Both those things are. And last but not least, hit that notification so you know when I post my next video. Without further ado, let's get into the Sims game because we got new bunk beds, new hairs, new trait things, fixes, new objects. It's just, let's, let's look at it. I'm excited. But maybe we should manage our expectations because what is the motto for The Sims 4? Actually, now that I, now maybe I should take a step back. <laughs> Hope for the best, but expect the worst. So already I noticed this new little like media thing at the start of the game. It shows all the bug picks that we get, the different swatches, and I guess like two styles, what I'm seeing, and the kids can fall off of the bunk bed, which I think is pretty funny, not gonna lie. First thing I wanna check out is definitely the bunk beds, which I already see right here. Oh my goodness. Ah. So this is a loft bed and this is the actual bunk bed. We get two different versions. Uh, okay, so this one's like wooden, this one's metal. Um, I like the style of the metal one. I like the industrial vibes a lot more. Not gonna lie, it's more geared to my taste, but this one's really cute. And it looks like just very similar to the base game option, which is down here, which is slotted. So that's how they went about it. They like slotted the, you can slot the bed, which I'm pretty sure you can do with like the rest is what I was seeing on like Twitter. You can slot all the other ones, which I think is a pretty neat idea because then you can have like different beds and customization, which we love that. We love options around here. Like, do they look the best? Mm, it's a little iffy. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't always look like it fits in with the top bunk, but I feel like it's still like, you can, we can make it work. We can make it work. Like I'll take this at this point. You know, I'll take it, it's free. Is this bed new though? I feel like I've never seen this bed before. Metal frame. Why does this look brand new to me? I don't know. Somebody let me know if this is new for The Sims game, but they, oh, some of these swatches are really freaking cute. Like this one and this one. I have not seen those before in my life, so they might be new. Now the big million dollar question though is, can you slot things under the bed and like have them still function? I don't have any Sims on the lot, but I don't, I don't think so, yeah. Okay, so we can't slot that. Can I slot a two-seater? A love seat. Can I slot a chair? You can't slot anything? This is some bullshit. <laughs> not a toy chest, not anything. Maybe dot move. If you have to type in cheats to get this to work, I think it's ridiculous. Okay, so once I put the cheat on, then it works. I'm guessing then I can like slot the love seat. Now, if this works, that's a whole different like question. Does that work? So now I can put things underneath it. So let's send her up to bed. I want to see the animation just really quick. Very clean, very clean. Um, I know that's like a big deal, like made doing a lot of the animations for things, but I think it looks really good. We love to see new animations. I hate when they get recycled a lot of the times. Like a few things is cool, but when it gets re recycled like all of the time, then it's become an issue for me and that's when I'm just like, oh my God. There's also relax. I just realized right here, it gives you, oh, you can just turn on or off like smart mode, I guess. What is that? So I guess the Sims will just detect what side of the wall you're facing. Is that how that works? Yeah, it'll take it off. Oh, that's cool. Okay, sure, I'll take it. You can also slot a toddler bed underneath. I've seen that work. It's just the limitations. All right, I checked online and on the patch notes and it says that you can't slot anything. It's more than one tile, which I think is really dumb. And like, it looks dumb already. It's just kind of like, 
What are you gonna do with all this extra space over here? But only that loft beds were meant to like clear up more space so that you can put things underneath it. So the fact that you can only put things that are just one tile wide just makes no sense to me. Um, but they did say and insinuate that in the future they might update these because it's just kind of like the first round of things, which again, also I'm just like, I'm happy they're here and like they're free updates. So you like almost are, can't really complain too much because it's free. But at this point, after seven years and like promising bunk beds, I kind of expect expected them to work and function properly or as you know the way we wanted them to which is to save space add another bed underneath sure but if you're gonna do loft beds make it so that you can use it pull add a, a, a love seat down here two tiles wide like take up two tiles I can understand not a third because then it obstructs the ladder but at least the two tiles the one tile thing and then not working with cheats you have to do bb dot move objects to be able to place things down here it's just kind of annoying and it's just like why 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 <laughs> why can't things just work right the first time you know anyways they fixed also um the bus dust kit which I'm just gonna go ahead like fast forward but let me just tell you already i've been playing with busted dust for a whole week now and immediately immediately you'll see the dust system come into play i've already been like sitting here with these sims for a bit nothing nothing so far so it's one of those things that we might have to be like to be continued and play test a little bit more just to see but already I'm feeling a little bit better about it. I just hope that if you toggle the system off, it actually stays off because before, if you had it and you wanted to turn off the system, it would just come back regardless. So that was kind of dumb. Like, how is it that you can't even manage to get it right so that we can turn off the system if we don't want to play with the system? I, I can't believe it, whatever, but. Mm, okay, not too, too happy about the bunk beds, but happy enough, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. So here looking through the patch notes, we got two new updated hairs. I actually don't know what the before and after. I would have loved to have seen a before and after from The Sims. Like, hey, here was how it started and this is how it's going kind of situation. That would have been really cool to see. But I mean, so far it just looks really good. So they updated it from toddlers, children, and adults. Um, and then here's this other second round of hairs that they fixed, which I think, I mean, they just look so much better. Look at that fade. Okay, and that lineup. Looking good, looking fresh, looking, it's just looking better. Um, so we got that. And the other thing that we could play praise, you know, we can knock the Sims when we when we have to knock the Sims, but guys, we've got a lot of more like diverse, uh, what was it, artwork, posters. So we got the Rock My Universe pinup girl poster. I see different Sims on there. Kiyu, the dramatic cooking poster, the sports poster, the idol poster. Oh my God, the Henry Puffer poster. Oh God, we love to see it. That's so good. The Just Justin, is that supposed to be like a call to Justin Bieber or something? Cause I, I don't know. But that one got, is new. Ooh, the antique portrait with the random guy on it. Oh my God. I, yeah, that guy's always been so weird to me, but <laughs> I love that there's different ones now. That's so cute. Um, more inclusivity. We love to see it. Oh my God, the portrait of marriage. That's so cute. That's so cute. Round of applause, round of applause. Now there are some bug fixes. I think the cat one, like aging up a cat you can do now. You can now resume knitting because that was one that I was having for sure too, that I couldn't get to work. They did add a relaxed position on the beds. Oh, we haven't seen that since like Sims 2. What does this do though? I wonder, like maybe helps with the energy. I don't know. Currently I have this, their need set, I just do not disable. They are also trait improvements, which this one was the one that I saw yesterday when they tweeted it out and I was like, oh my God. Cause uh, you know, there is like build by building in the Sims killing it, create a Sim in the Sims is now killing it as well. I really think they've gone a long way, still got ways to go, but you can't deny that in the Sims community, building and create a Sim is kind of where all the gameplay is really at because 
the actual life simulation part, the actual gameplay part is very lacking. That's the part where a lot of people have just gotten so tired of and they don't like The Sims anymore and it's understandable because that's the one that's kind of failed the most and it's the most important part. So the fact that we got improved traits, I was like, hmm, this might actually maybe help improve the game a bit more. It's kind of like what we want to see slowly but surely, hopefully, that's where The Sims is kind of headed. And so the up improvement of traits to all these traits, by the way, they're listed right here. Um, so I don't know what they've gone and tweaked. It's going to be really interesting and another to be like determined to be to be seen kind of thing because we would definitely have to look a little bit more in depth at these traits that they went and fixed but they did give an example because i did watch the live stream and they said that for in the case of like bookworm they went and tweaked it so that if you're a bookworm sim then they will have more fun when reading they'll increase that moodlet so that's something that i can't believe never affected the in-game stuff you know for Sims 3, I just really felt like the traits really did affect your Sims and it made them and put it made them so unique. And in Sims 4, it's just kind of not been the case. So that's really cool. They made reactionary trait changes to stop an ambitious. Don't know what that means. I wish they would have gotten a little bit more in depth on that. Ooh, and daily activities. This one I'm also really excited for just because I have a, not, a mod for it. So it says taking a shower and eating a meal is now completed in less time. Okay, the Sim isn't starving, starving, but let's go ahead and grab a serving and see how long it takes her to eat this meal. When I feel like usually it takes them about maybe an hour or so, a little longer. It's kind of ridiculous. Whoa, that was actually really fast. Um, it's almost, her knee is almost fulfilled, but they always have find the the one and need to talk to people while they eat. So it takes a little bit longer, doesn't it? Okay, that was really fast though. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's because they just increase the time. It kind of doesn't fit with like the how much they eat though because she left a lot. So I don't know. Or it is because she was half hungry though. It'd be interesting to test this out a little bit more. Not gonna lie. Let's check out the shower. Let's see just bath. Baths in general take a long time. Let's see how long it takes her. This one feels a little like a little faster. I feel like this could have been tuned a little bit more. It could just be because it's a bath and not a shower. But it doesn't feel like as quick. Maybe, maybe just a little bit smidgen so i've been playing with the sims for like a good 24 hours and no dust buzz knees and no dust system in sight which is a good thing okay we basically checked out almost all the new things that come in the game i am let down by the bug beds not gonna lie um though hey they're here now i mean it's gonna add a lot more gameplay and like especially for builds it's gonna add a lot more things that you can do in the game so that's exciting but would i have loved them to see them especially with the loft beds work a lot better yes absolutely 100 but what can you do it's like we'll wait and see in the future to see if they get like more of an update and you can slot more things underneath them but they definitely gotta fix that whole bb dot move objects cheat thing like i feel like you should just be able to do it out the gate i feel like you should just be able to just put things underneath and not have to type in the cheat every time so that's all that i gotta say leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree what did you find neat about the update or if you think that it definitely needs a little bit more cooking in the oven let me know down below in the comments and i will see you all in my next one so bye for now